Hello everybody, it's your old friend RJ City, and today I am playing Flying Anchor Presents Royal Rumble for Sega Genesis. I'm very excited about this. This is basically exactly the same as Raw, just a lot older and more early 90s instead of the hip grunge phase of the mid 90s. It has Crush, it has everybody flying in. I believe this shot is either from WrestleMania 3 or WrestleMania 6. I think it's WrestleMania 6. Nevertheless, I love this song. It's so fantastic, and I don't know why they didn't use it for anything else. But let's get to work here. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Let's do the Royal Rumble. Let's keep it easy. One player. Let's turn down the difficulty. I like Randy Savage. I want someone with the finish. Brett, we've used before. And Raw, Hogan, I'm not crazy about. The Undertaker, maybe? Crush? Tempted to use Crush. Jim Duggan, I've never cared to play as Jim Duggan. Same goes for Lex. Shawn Michaels, we got the gist. Rick Martel. Very tempted to use Rick Martel now that I'm thinking about it. IRS, no. IRS has to be the least played wrestler in any video game in history. There's no way anyone has ever played as IRS, ever. Crush or Rick Martel? Let's go with Rick Martel. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's see if we can get his music. Amazing! I feel like this is a hotel TV menu. Taking on all comers, come one, come all. This is uh, the newspaper they used to hand out before the Royal Rumble, I guess. Looks a little like me. Oh, that's, that's the run button. Oh, I am not equipped for this at all. What are the... Okay, there's the punch button. What's the kick button? I'm fucked now. I don't know what's going on. What, what? I have no kick button? This is so weird. Okay. Is there only a... I'm gonna get destroyed. Why don't I have a kick button? What is this shit? Okay, come on, Rick. No. No room at the end, Rick. Good old-fashioned choke. That works for me. We can keep doing that, certainly. Oh yeah, this is where... What's confusing is when you win the grapple, you have to win it towards your name. Not necessarily where you're standing. So that's just... It's just fucking annoying. But the button mashing technique is working very well. Big slam there by Rick on IRS. That's an exciting matchup. Rick the Model Martel against IRS. A good choke. Let's see if we can get throw IRS out of the ring and put us out of... Nope. Big save. Can we do anything? I can just choke and punch. Maybe a slam sometimes when I feel like it. Just straight up heel tactics. Alright. Why can't I kick? Oh, there we go. That's the kick button. Okay, now I see how this works. He's going to be thrown out. Look at this. Rick is back in business. The kick wasn't working. I had to like... I have to be like really locked on to someone as I take the only bump I'm willing to take in this match. Rick looks great. This looks exciting. I don't know why Razor is wearing uh, gold wrist tape again. They keep making this mistake. Let's see if we can get something going with Brett here. Soften him up a little bit. Yeah, the old eye rake. Tit for tat, I'd say. Here we go. Back in business. Look at the Rick's running over everybody. Can we throw Razor out, maybe? That would be nice. Oh! Well, I'm not getting the perfect record now. Rick has an incredible uh, Royal Rumble career. There's Randy Savage wearing an outfit I've never seen him wear. It's really fucked how Shawn Michaels looks way better in this than the Royal Rumble, uh, the Raw version, which would come, like, years later. It's a little ridiculous. No. Come on. Good old-fashioned eye rake. Let's get something going here, Rick. Let's get into the blue. You know, there's so many buttons, like I'm on an Xbox controller, and there's, like, the trigger buttons are useless. They're not using the triggers for anything. Good old-fashioned eye rake. A good choke. Soften him up. 
Good old Rick Martel. That's a guy. He should be in the Hall of Fame. He should be everywhere. He should be cutting promos. You never hear anything from him, which tells me he's probably doing well. He's probably doing better than he was when he was wrestling. He's probably like, I'm, I'm over this shit. And that is something I think I respect most of all. Kind of like when Johnny Carson left. I've always said that Rick Martel is the Johnny Carson of professional wrestling. Here we go. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna lose my health. Are we almost done with people coming into the ring? Nope. And I gotta get hulked? Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. No. If you throw me out, you son of a bitch, you stupid ass atomic drops, useless. Useless. Oh my god! I was doing so well. I was so in my oats. I was feeling good. I came here. I didn't know what I wanted to play. I saw Royal Rumble. I said, I didn't know who I wanted to be. And then I saw Rick Martel. Things started coming together. It was greasing the wheels, you know? And then things were going well. I was hanging in with the movers and the shakers. And I got low on energy. I did so much work. Hulk. Waltz is in, one atomic drop, and I'm over the top. What else is new? The late 80s, early 90s, in a nutshell. I hope you're proud of yourself. I don't even want to fucking see how this turns out, to be honest with you. This is bullshit, and it's also bullshit that they make you watch the rest of this. You just watch... They are computers choking each other. If that isn't a metaphor for where we're at technologically, if that isn't a metaphor for the future and all that jazz, then I don't know what to tell you. Papa Shango, I mean, Lex looks incredibly boring here, too. Lex looks like Jim Powers or something, and he is now gone. Shawn Michaels is gone. Papa Shango with a drop kick, and he ties up with Jim Duggan. A big atomic drop from Papa Shango. Maybe he's putting a curse on his ass. Jim Duncan comes back with a suplex, picks him up, maybe an atomic drop of his own. No! Hulk Hogan threw out Randy Savage, and their grudge continues. Now all that's left is these three final participants. Another atomic drop by Hogan to Duggan. It's another atomic drop. Boy, Duggan has an ass made of steel. It's Hogan, it's Duggan, it's Papa Shango. Duggan has snapped and is now choking Hulk Hogan. A headbutt to Papa Shango. Another atomic drop. Gets Hogan's ass right back. Papa Shango returns a choke. Between the chokes and the atomic drops. And a rib breaker? Is he going for the leg drop? Oh, yes, he is. He hits it. And I think he's throwing Papa Shango out. Maybe after another atomic drop. Big boot by Duggan. And Duggan just unloading on Hulk Hogan. <gasps> An atomic drop out of the ring by Papa Shango. Is Hulk going to throw Papa Shango out? Because I would be very upset if he does. Headbutt by Hogan. An atomic drop returned by Papa Shango. This is an ass-to-ass -ass Iron Man. This is an iron-ass match. Mm. Hulk missed the ropes there. Hit the turnbuckle. Shango with a big suplex. Which Hogan certainly wouldn't take too much of in real life. A oh! The shoulder breaker by Papa Shango. Is he going to throw Hogan out? I believe he is. No. Hogan throws Papa Shango kind of into the turnbuckles. Papa Shango, oh, there's an atomic drop. Will Hogan throw him out? Yeah, fucking of course. Here's your winner to the surprise of no one. Heenan is upset, I don't blame him. Gene comes over, he's gonna raise Hogan's hand, kind of, but maintain a, a healthy distance. You don't really wanna touch the sweating guy. He joined the Rumble at 328, and nary 30 seconds later, he eliminated me, Rick Martel. I'm upset, I am disappointed, I am angry. However, I'm determined to fight another day and rectify this bullshit once and for all.